Hey, welcome to Well.com, home of TIG time. Hi, I'm Mr. TIG, and we're doing a series of qualification for welding operators. And you're going to see us do quite a few. I mean, it may uh, get into the hundreds. So we decided to take D17.1, which is an AWS specification uh, for aircraft welders. And we're going to use that for various types of certifications, um, such as motorsports, or if you just want to certify at home. So this is one of many, many that we're going to do. And today, we're going to do aluminum, and we're going to show you how to certify for uh, a certain wall thickness. So let's get started, and I'm going to show you the package that you're going to be able to get here at well.com, and we're going to help you through this. Now, we've gotten companies to help us out, a company called AED. First of all, they provide us the materials that we request. So you got to figure out what is it that you're doing. So today we're going to select uh, a, wall, a wall thickness or a thickness of, of aluminum, uh, 6061, and the thickness is 063, 0.063 inch. So if you weld a butt weld, which is what we're going to do right here and right now, is we're going to weld the butt weld, we're going to show you the procedures, and in your package you're going to see four different sheets of paper in there. And the first one is called a qualification test record. You're going to need that because eventually you're going to have to take this to a laboratory. Now, keep in mind, you always need to have a witness. Somebody else needs to watch you do this as a witness. So page one is qualification test record. Uh, page two is your group alloy. Yeah, so this is uh, aluminum, and it's a group four. And we're going to be welding heat-treatable aluminum alloys. We selected 6061. So uh, that's on our package. It's controlled right here. It tells us the heat lot number and the thickness that we're dealing with. Okay, so the next page that you're going to have to fill out, now this is uh, primarily for the welding operator himself or herself, is this has all the parameters that you use. So if you're using argon gas, it's somebody CFH, certain size tungsten, it's okay. Use your technique, use your system, but document it. Because once you document it, that's what you're certified for. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. There's one evaluation uh, you need to take a look at. This material thickness is 063. Now, once you make this weld, and it's good, and it goes through the lab, you're now certified and qualified both for wall thicknesses of 0.67T to 4.0T. Now, what does that mean? That means that calculated to this, 0.67T, you're going to be able to weld as thin as 42 thousandths. You're going to weld as heavy as 0.252 thousandths, or a quarter of an inch. So if that's the range that you're looking for, then you've selected the right thickness. So I'm going to go ahead and put my gear on. Uh, we're going to set the machine up. I'm going to do an uh, uh, x-ray quality weld here and then show you the results. Okay, I've tacked it in two spots, at, uh, one at each end, and puts a little bit of preheat in there, which is always nice. Okay, so it's right now pretty nice. I think I got the cleaning action set up just right.
Okay, I, I tacked this part up, I tacked it at each end, and it looked initially as though it was going to be a perfectly butted up part. But as you know, as you're certifying and parts start to move, I could see unevenness happening. So you have to adjust, and that's what I had to do here. I could see it trying to lift, and if it ever overlaps, and overlaps in this direction, you're, uh, you're pretty well lost. Um, so I adjusted by adding some filler to it. I changed my travel speed a little bit. But this certification right here, in many cases, is uh, what determines whether or not you have a job. So you just got to keep plugging on through. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll take this uh, test plate out, see what it looks like on the back side. And, and just so you know, this is a, a 6061 aluminum. The test for it is primarily going to be a visual, first of all, just to see if it welded correctly, if it was fused 100%. Uh, the second part is, it, more than likely, it'll take a, a Zyglo or a liquid penetrant test. And if you start going into Class A or Class 1 type welds, uh, your company or your contract may require that you do an x-ray on this to make sure that you uh, have x-ray quality habits and uh, when you get the filler material, do you wipe it down? Is it clean? Is it controlled filler material? So that's, that's part of the process. So uh, let me work on this and I'll, uh, I'll get it out of the fixture and show you in a few minutes. Okay, now I've, I've taken it out of this, this welding fixture and you'll notice underneath that I've got little spacers. What I don't want to have happen is I don't want the penetration to drop through and hit anything. I want it to free fall and form an oxide on the back side. So this needs to be air space. Aluminum doesn't require argon on the back side, and I'm going to repeat that several times. What it needs is a good, tight fit. So I check the top side of the weld, make sure I don't have any underfill whatsoever, and, and I don't. And I just want you to know that the first half inch and the last half inch are cut off and discarded. So when they start to x-ray, they may have uglies on the ends, but that's okay. No harm, no foul. So let's turn this over. And what you see is I do have penetration. Again, half inch in, discard, ignore. And all of this gets penetrant checked. And you can see visually that it's got penetration. And again, the last half inch, it gets discarded. So as I mentioned, this is not the perfect weld. You know, it's, it's okay, it'll pass. But I did have motion, I did have movement in all this. Uh, so you may want to take precautions and add a couple of tacks. Now, your fixturing, uh, I recommend only thumb tightening your fixture. Um, and you can go on the website, you can go on weld.com's new website and pick these fixtures up. So, just want to let you know, uh, weld.com is going to be cataloging all of these different tests. So, go to their uh, resource and uh, you'll get these four pages, you'll get the, the material, and then you have to do the rest. So, thanks for watching TIG Time. I'm Mr. Tig.